Hi, welcome everybody. I'm Lars Eric Robinson. Uh, my company is Lars Arts Olivant Entertainment. I've been in the profession since uh, 15 years now. And what I've noticed working in this business, there's a lot of different kind of chairs that you could choose as an artist. And it also depends a lot on what kind of easel you work on or what kind of surface you work on. For example, here, this is uh, one of my easels that I made and, and I use when I go out to a lot of different events. And for this one, it works excellent having a, having a chair that doesn't have any arms because it goes right in there. And also, I can load everything on it and take it with me when I go to my different events. People think I'm crazy when I do that. But if you're working on a big easel and you're working on a bigger piece, one of these kind of chairs is also okay because this goes up and down. And also, a cushion on it is also helpful for your tush. <laughs> but uh, so the important thing is you, when you do sit on one of these chairs... You want to keep your posture straight. You keep your posture. Remember that your back needs to be straight at all times. So when you're painting, you're having your, your back straight. You don't want to sit there like this and, and paint because that's going to ruin your back. So just sit comfortably like that and paint. The same when, you wear, when you're sitting in one of these kind of chairs. If you sit in one of these chairs and you're just like this and you just lay back on your thing, drawing, that's, this kind of posture is not going to be good. So... I usually sit like this, put one leg here, have the other le leg out, and draw like that, and keeping my body straight. So remember, protect your back is very important. So here's some different examples of what kind of chairs you could choose as an artist. Thank you.